what's up you guys time is back with another linson's video and today i have another fragrance from the house of paris corner now if you guys know anything about the paris corner or maybe you've seen one of my videos on paris corner fragrances you will know that they make high quality almost niche quality fragrances okay if you've seen some of my videos especially african leopard okay that one an autobiography oh boy definitely get your hands on those if you haven't just yet with that being said again i got a nice beautiful fragrance i'm hoping it's a nice beautiful fragrance again that is from that paris corner again i got all these fragrances from ebay um if you just go on ebay and put in like you know paris corner fragrances um you'll usually get a few different options again the options that i've been working with so far is uh, there's a store out of Lemon Grove, California, and then Lombard, Illinois. So both of those are pretty much uh, A1 as far as I'm concerned. Uh, both ship pretty quick, um, and their prices are both pretty spot on, okay? Now, with that being said, before I get into this fragrance, man, I just want to thank you guys again. Man, it is my pleasure, and um, honestly... Um, I enjoy um, listening to you guys, the feedback, the comments. Um, if you've noticed, like, you know, some other guys on their, you know, videos, and obviously I don't have like thousands thousands of comments, but if you've noticed, I try to get back to each and every one of you guys, and it's not just a okay, cool type of uh, response. I give you guys a full response most of the time, give you guys a like, give you a heart, Honestly, even if you dislike the video, I don't care. I'm still going to comment on you, man. It doesn't matter, man. Just let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are truly, uh, honestly impressed with the videos that I've been releasing, uh, again, make sure you guys get out there and share and, uh, you know, definitely help support the cause. But with that being said, again, I have a fragrance from the house of Paris Corner. I can't say that enough because, man, Paris Corner makes some damn good stuff. Again, if you guys have not seen that African Leopard video or even that autobiography, oh boy, check that out. Now, both of those were not even full reviews. Those were basically first impressions. And honestly, both of those were amazing as far as first impressions. Both of those were spot on. Everything was so damn good about them. The longevity, projection, everything was so lovely about those. Now, those were first impressions, but I can honestly attest to the projection, the performance, and longevity, okay? When I sprayed those on, I sprayed just a little bit on each hand, and those things lasted pretty much all day, even through hand washing. The scent lasted all day, so definitely go check out those videos. But with that being said, let's finally get into this bad boy, and this one is called The Ministry of Oud's Oud Satin, okay? Um, man, is that how you pronounce Satan too? Satan and Satin, but this is the Satin version. Uh, maybe they do have a... No, I think Satan is A-N, okay? My bad. But Satin, okay? Um, Oud Satin. Extract de Parfum. So this is a little bit higher than just your regular Eau de Parfum. Extract de Parfum. So I'm expecting a nice high quality of uh, percentage of oils up in this thing. Probably... You're looking at somewhere above 25% um, oil up in this thing. So um, let's get into this. Man, it's nothing like getting a nice fragrance being sent to you. Like, man, I, that's just the one cool thing about these. I mean, honestly, it's almost anything that you shop for. But, man, especially if you're a frag head, man, you can have so many damn fragrances in your collection. But you are still truly satisfied when another new one comes in, like, I can I have probably like five more at home that still have yet to been op opened and I'm still buying more fragrances. I don't know, man. I think I'm not sure if it's an addiction, a collection. I don't know what it is, man, cuz how can we frag heads like have fragrances that we've yet to open yet we're still buying other ones? I just don't get it, man. But anyways, I'm here for you guys. Here we go. Ministry of Oud, Oud Satin. So here we go. Maybe they do have a Oud Satin one. Maybe a nice flamey type smell. Maybe some burnt woods. But here we go. On the bottom, we do have that batch code alert right there in that corner right here. Um, again, this is an Arabian fragrance house. So here we go. Man, just like that autobiography, this is a very nice bottle. I'm looking at it right now. Boom. 
Look at that. The simplicity of this bottle, yet so elegant. This bottle is so nice. Let me see this cap. The cap actually has a nice weight to it. Look at that cap, though. That cap looks so damn amazing. You're going to have to, like, kind of wipe it down, you know, fingerprints. But, again, look at that bottle. Again, you got this thick glass right here, okay? So if you do drop it on these corners and you get a little chip, you're not going to lose any juice. It's going to look ugly as shit in your collection, but at least you won't be losing any juice. But look at that cap. Bro, I'm telling you guys, you guys got one of those nice little, uh, like, cologne cabinets or something like that. Maybe you got one with the, you know, the light just comes on when you open it. That'd be cool. But take a look at this cap. When that light hits that cap like that, it's going to be shining throughout that whole cabinet. But here we go. Look at the simplicity of this bottle. It's nice and thick. It's nice and heavy. But here we go. Man, you know, before I even go on with this real quick, I've been meaning to do a video on uh, Gear Lane's Vetiver, okay? I got that uh, in a trade not too long ago. I used it yesterday, and I kid you not, that thing must have great longevity because I'm still getting whiffs on my hand of that fragrance, that nice citrus woodiness. I mean, it's not strong, but it's still there, which tells you that the performance on that thing is legendary. So maybe I'll do a review on that one pretty soon, but... Let me get into this bad boy right here. Now, this one I think has like, ooh, it has some Turkish rose and stuff like that and some other BS. You know, I was going to have the note breakdown right on my screen. Obviously, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys have a Samsung phone or even any Android, how you can pop up the little icons like right on your screen while you're taking this video. I was doing that, but then it said my phone was too hot to run both apps at the same time. So I don't know what's in here. All I know is there's some rose and some oud that's all i remember from that so here we go let's get right into it and what i'll actually do beautiful atomizer beautiful man you guys this is so damn beautiful you guys there's like this sweet and it's not sweet like a candy way it's just like sweet as in like Almost kind of like fresh. It's like a kind of like a sweet fresh. But that rose, those woods, this stuff is so damn beautiful, you guys. This, man, this is elegance at its finest. Okay, you guys seen that. I was smelling that when I first sprayed it. Now, granted, I am in a car, okay? So obviously you're going to smell a lot in the car. But there's been fragrances that I've sprayed in the car that you know, you whiff it just for one second and it's pretty much gone. This stuff is pretty much in this whole car. The florals on hit in this, that kind of like dark woodiness, this is not like a dark, it's not like one of those dark ouds. This is a nice eye opener type oud rose fragrance. It is so, wow, that is beautiful, man. I don't, honestly, I don't know what that is cloning. Maybe you guys know. Again, obviously, the one thing is, is that like everyone wants to know what is something cloning, okay? What is this cloning? Like, honestly, you guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to cloning things, okay, when you go out there to buy a fragrance, only buy a, like, if if you can afford like an $80 fragrance, go out there and actually buy an $80 fragrance. However, if these things are cloning stuff that's in the 200s, 300s like that, those are the clones you're going to want to get because you're not going to want to spend $300, Okay. So obviously, sometimes when I tell people like, man, if you're going to get a clone, don't get something that's cloning like something like Aqua de Joe, okay? Something that you can get for about 80, 90 bucks. Go out there and just get the real deal. However, I don't know what this is cloning just yet. I'm pretty sure it's a niche quality fragrance. But you guys, the rose in here is just so beautifully done. It is not like a candy rose, like a playful rose. This is sexy rose oud at its finest. This is going to be that nice date night fragrance, okay? This is sexy at its finest. This is going to that lobster house, that high-quality steakhouse. This isn't just going to Olive Garden, okay? Take your wifey somewhere nice. Rock this bad boy. This is going to be a nice, beautiful fragrance. Whoever gets close enough to smell you, obviously, I don't even think they're going to have to be close. Now, I can't tell you if this thing is going to project through a mask, However, again, remember, you guys, if you guys all go out there and get that vaccination, just maybe, just maybe our governments and shit will say, you know what? Everyone's pretty much freaking uh, 
vaccinated. Let's take these masks off. Now, I know Texas, they just said, fuck it. We don't give a damn. They just fuck it. Let everybody just get COVID and die. Who cares? But with that being said, you guys, this one is definitely going to be that sexy date night fragrance. I'm thinking, okay, if you guys ever smelled Tom Ford's Rose Prick, um, now I had Alexandria's uh, version of that. That definitely had a nice floral note in as well. However, this one has just a touch of sweetness and a little bit of powderiness too in this, which I think is better than Tom Ford's Rose Prick or even that version right there. It's like this sweet, elegant rose. You got some woods in here. There seems to be some kind of spice in here as well. But you guys, you got to try this fragrance, okay? This is elegance. This is beautiful. It is sexy. This fragrance right here, again, take a look at that bottle as well. The bottle, the cherry on top. This was less than 40 bucks on eBay, okay? Just look it up. Ministry of Oud, or all you got to do is look up Oud Satin, and you will find it on eBay, okay? Less than 40 bucks you are not going to be disappointed. But again, that is if you like a nice, rosy, earthy, woody type fragrance. This is that oud, that rose. It's a nice, sweet rose. It's not that super potent, that potent, strong, smelly type rose. It's kind of got like a just a touch sweet in it. And then the rose and the wood and a little bit of powderiness. I'm telling you guys, you will love this shit. Okay? Go out there and grab this thing, you guys. And just to let you know that, you know, just so I can show you guys that the wife, you will like this too. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause the video right here. Okay. This is all one take. Okay. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to brush it past the wifey. She might not be on the video because I don't know what her hair looks like right now, but she can at least tell you, you can hear her voice and then we'll do the outro. Okay. So I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I am about to go through the door. I know it's an apartment. It's not the most beautiful house ever. But uh, the wifey has a package in front of the door. Again, nice package. But we are going through the door. Let's see if we can get her reaction, okay? You, as you guys can see, this is unedited. This isn't fucking tell them that it's good. This isn't that. This is going to be her honest opinion. So here we go. Hello. We have packages. It's almost a day in the life. Well, I'm trying to get your honest opinion on this fragrance. You won't see her face. I don't know if she wants to be seen, but. What do you good. That's not really good. So, you hear her? She said it smells really good. There she is. But there you guys go. She smells, says it smells very good. Okay? Now, I know you guys are probably thinking the same way I had thought of it. Oh, my God. So stunning because I thought this fragrance was stunning. She thinks it's very good. But with that being said, again, you guys, this fragrance is potent. It's beautiful. It's sexy. It's elegant. It is a damn good fragrance. So, go check it out. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe, and you'll get to see that dog, like, back there run around all day if you want to see him. Yeah, if you guys want to see more of this dog in the video, just let me know, and I'll make sure he's in it, okay? He's always around. Peace. Yeah.